Well, we have had a storm pop up in Pueblo County literally in the past 30 minutes, and it has really just exploded. Take a look at your Storm Shocker 13 Live HD Doppler radar, and this is just over the past 15 minutes. And just that little area of pink that has developed south of Highway 50. That is the area where we are most likely seeing the potential for some of the biggest hail. Could get quarter size hail with this storm as it travels right between Avondale and Fowler, moving off toward the north and east, traveling between 15 and 20 miles per hour. This severe thunderstorm warning is going to stay in effect until 1045 as, again, it moves off toward the north and east, so it is not going to be impacting Pueblo. Now you'll notice that this is just part of a long cluster of storms that has popped up here recently, and this is, extends all the way to the south of Carville and out across the plains. These storms are all going to stick around here for the next little bit, so we are going to have to keep an eye on them, as they will have the potential to bring not only heavy rain, but also a bit of hail yet tonight. Skycast is keeping these storms pushing off toward the east through about midnight, and then everything should come to an end by early tomorrow morning. Something else that we'll be tracking tonight, along with these thunderstorms is a cold front that's going to slide through and it's going to spread some clouds along the I-25 corridor over and near the mountains and across some of the plains nearby. Also, this is going to signal that we could start off with a bit of fog early tomorrow morning to reduce visibilities for your drive into work or wherever your Thursday morning is taking you. Check in with Abby Acone on Good Morning Colorado that starts off at 430. She'll let you know where the fog is the densest. Could also see some areas of light rain and drizzle through the early morning hours, but then that should come to an end right around lunchtime. We'll get some sunshine tomorrow during the mid part of the day, but the sunshine will be just enough to help bubble things up, give us a little bit of energy, energy to fire off another round of thunderstorms beginning around 3 o'clock. The storms, for the most part, should really be out across the plains. That's where we are expecting them to be the strongest, with strong storms once again expected across the northeastern corner of the state. So we could see a bit more in the way of severe weather tomorrow. Setup, though, not quite as good as it was out there today. By 10 o'clock, all of the storms should get out of here. High temperatures tomorrow will be back in the 70s and 80s. And remember how May was kind of a soggy, cooler month. Well, it doesn't look like we're departing from that weather pattern. 77 degrees tomorrow, and then we drop it to 72 on Friday. A 30% chance for storms Friday into Saturday. We bump that up to a 40% chance for storms Sunday into Monday. We are going to be getting some Pacific moisture in this weekend. That is going to set the stage for the potential for heavy rain, especially Sunday into Monday as we get a system that moves overhead. Not only kicks up our storm chances, it drops our temperatures. We'll be back in the 60s by Monday with 70s Tuesday and Wednesday. In Pueblo, 86 degrees will be your high temperature tomorrow, just a 10% chance for storms during the afternoon. We'll kick it up to 20% Friday and Saturday afternoon. Sunday, though, we'll have a 30% chance for storms, and that will last through Monday. We'll keep the temperatures in the 70s Sunday and Monday. We'll be back in the 80s, though, Tuesday into Wednesday. In Canyon City tomorrow, a similar scenario, 82 degrees. It'll probably be a gray morning for you folks as you're driving in. We'll get a bit of sunshine during the middle part of the day, but then thunderstorms are going to return during the afternoon. 70s are expected to take us through the weekend and into early next week before we're back in the 80s again next Wednesday. And Teller County, 70 degrees will be your high temperature tomorrow with mid-60s. Friday, Saturday, low 60s expected Sunday into Monday with a 50% chance for storms. And you can thank what is now a Category 4 hurricane, Hurricane mm. Blanca is out in the mm. eastern Pacific for the moisture that is going to prime our atmosphere for storms Sunday into Monday. But of course, we still have that storm that we're tracking in Pueblo, Otero, and Crowley County. Yeah. Once again, that severe thunderstorm morning until 10:45. Okay. All right. Thanks yeah. so much. Thanks, Rachel. Well, April.